Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I swear, I swear, you're not gonna believe me. I uh, kept a little bit of a secret from you guys from last episode. Don't worry, the angels and the fish are still doing fine. I actually recorded the end of the last episode just moments ago. Um, I, got a, I got a message when I got home last night, later in the evening. There's an individual about 10 minutes away from me that needs to rehome two fish. Two fish that we already have. Uh, and they need to rehome them. So I went ahead and messaged him and I said, hey, this is my setup. Do you think that it would be a good fit? I thought it would be a great fit, but I just, I wanted to know. Um, so we're gonna go pick them up. We're gonna talk about the kind of fish they are. I'm running actually a little bit behind, so I need to get on that right now. They're either going to go in 55 with the angels or they're going to go down here in what I have dubbed the quarantine tank because it's probably gonna stay the quarantine tank once all my racks are set up. Um, quarantine slash hospital tank, but uh, yeah, yeah, who knows? I could just steal a sponge filter from the 75, they've got enough filtration. Um, but yeah, who knows? We'll see. But uh, I I'm not quite sure what tank they'll be going in yet. I need to see size firsthand a little bit and uh, kind of figure some stuff out, but I'm excited. Um, I already know long term where one of them is gonna go, uh, and it's Probably not what you would expect, but let's go ahead and go get them and uh, we'll take it from there. And we're back. So we got the fish. Really nice woman. Absolutely really nice. Beautiful dogs, beautiful bird. I think she said it's a parrot. I don't know what kind. It looked full grown. The thing was huge. Uh, awesome cats. Nice little corner aquarium. Um, but she quickly realized after having these fish for a few months that, hey, they need a bigger place, so thank you. You're probably never gonna see this, but thank you uh, in advance. And it's just a lesson for all of us. Keep fish responsibly. Like, you know, I, I love doing this. I love rehoming fish, and this is not a jab at her or anyone. This is just, I, I'm actually, if anything, praising her. A, do research on the fish you're gonna get. Keep the fish in the adequate aquarium. And if you don't have that, then just, Rehome them, give them back to the shop, take them to the person that you know has fish room adequate, you know whatever. Just, just have it be a responsible hobby. Which again, if anything, I'm praising this person because they did fantastic. They reached out to the group and said, "Hey, we'd love to uh, love to get these rehomed." But check these guys out. I just fed them and they ate. They ate these little uh, bug bite cichlid formula, uh, the really small ones, but I put it in there and the, the veil tail just ate it up. They were like, ah, give me it now, and just, it just destroyed it. But I'm sure you all are wondering what fish we got. And again, too big and let's, it was, had to have been less than a 30 gallon corner bow front kind of aquarium. So not exactly sure how many gallons, but basically, if we pop this open and uh, we see what's in the five gallon bucket, let's go ahead and pull the lid off. And I was like, oh gosh, did they somehow get away? No, they're still in there. But let's turn it around in true Toyko fashion and let's check it out. And what is that? Is that another angel fish? Yes, it is. And uh, if you can see it, is that another Pleco? Also, yes it is. I don't know if it's a common. It looks like a common. I think it's a common. So, uh, where are these fish gonna go, you might ask? Well, I think they're gonna go in the 55 with the other angels. I think, I say that because we have the quarantine tank set up. We have, we, it's, it's there, it's, it's down there. I would have to take one of the I would have to take one of the sponge filters out of the floppy tank, but again, they have so much biological filtration in there. Their levels are always good, and we're going to be making an order soon for some more equipment, so I could just replace it, and I could do a hundred different things. I could take one of the non-functioning air or, uh, sponge filters out of uh, either the Oscar and Pleco or the 55 that has two angels in them, because they both have one that isn't set up. I could do that. I could, I could do a plethora of things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider my options. I'm going to look at size because it is smaller than the two that we have now. It would be really cool to see them in a group because I mean, I'm telling you this angelfish is gorgeous. I love the two we got yesterday. 
Uh, also, their names are Nico and Finch. I don't think I said that in the episode, but their names are Nico and Finch, uh, which I think is awesome. This, this person that I'm helping out, um, that they're rehoming a lot of their stuff, they always name their animals, and I just I love the names they come up with. So Nico and Finch are doing great. Fed them. They're a pair, some way, shape, or form. So I'm considering making it a trio and seeing them school together. I just worry about aggression. So what I think I'm going to do, just with all things considered, is I think I'm gonna put them in the 55 together. So that way I have the quarantine tank open because I'm looking at buying a few more fish soon. I know, crazy. Um, but they're gonna be small little fish. They're not gonna be anything major. And I think we're gonna put them in the 55. Yeah, I think that's the play. Now the common pleco, I think it's also going to go in the 55 with them which means I need to put a hide in there because I don't want to put two common plecos in with a black Oscar because that might be a little overkill. Also, common plecos tend, at least in my experience in my reading, to not want to be with other common plecos, at least in small spaces. Uh, but this is enough blabbering on. I'm going to think a few things over. Angelfish is probably going to go in with the other angelfish. And yeah, we'll take it from there. I'm super stoked though. I'm telling you guys, this, this fish is gorgeous. Okay, I figure out what I'm going to do. Thought it over, I figured it out. So if you notice, it's kind of bare up there, which I would, I would like a little bit more of line of sight breaks. And remember how I, I literally just took, um, is it, yeah, this, this piece of wood out of that, out of this aquarium? Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do, and, and hear me out on this, let's, let's go ahead and Let's point you down towards the Oscar Aquarium. Let's zoom you in because why would I walk over there? This hornwort right here and this hide. I think I'm gonna take that hornwort out because it's the smaller of the two and I just love that giant piece of hornwort. I mean, it's just, it's just gorgeous in that aquarium. I'm gonna take the smaller hornwort out or I might even take some out of the tilapia. Probably not gonna take any out of the tilapia, but I'm gonna take that hornwort out I'm going to plant it, if we uh, zoom back up here, I'm going to plant it whoop, right there, put it right in the substrate, and then I'm going to put the wood and I'm going to put the hides in there just as some cover for the pleco. That aquarium doesn't have any flow, hence the angelfish, so maybe the pleco is going to like a little bit more flow like you know most plecos will. Um, oh my gosh, hold on. Look at this. Look at how happy this plant is right now. This Val, it's purling and it's, wow. That's awesome. Especially how tattered that leaf is. That is awesome. But I'm gonna take that piece of wood, I'm gonna take that hide, and I'm gonna take that hide, and I'm gonna put it up top, and I'm gonna put both the angel and the um, wrong way, and the new pleco just because they've been living together even in this tank or, or in the five gallon bucket they're actually sitting right next to each other so i'm going to just put everything into this one um and then we'll we'll kit out the quarantine tank later but all right i'm gonna get work on that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the time lapse yet, so don't exactly know how much you guys saw, but uh, this is why I love having a garage fish room, because look at all this water. You know how pissed my girlfriend would be if I threw all this water on our carpet or on our hardwood floor? I'd be dead. I would be dead. And of course, I took the, the wood out of here, so now all the mulm and everything's kicked back up. But I tell you what, these guys are growing and they are loving life they're eating they're having a fantastic time wow that substrate is really coming through bright today uh maybe if i s just yeah that's not okay can we can we tone down that exposure bud thank you um but in this aquarium something i wanted to show you is that the oscar will chill in this hide and then you can see its fat lip right now the pleco will chill in this hide like they just both got their own homes. Um, those two are swimming with each other. This aquarium looks fantastic now. I think that was the right choice. Adding those hides, adding the wood in the back, and also adding those hornwort. Man, it looks beautiful. But time to throw you guys back over. Actually, no, I'm not going to put you guys through another time lapse. I am going to just go ahead and put the angel and the pleco in here, and we'll take it from there. 
and it is complete. No, neither one of those are the, the angels. They are looking at the net like, ooh, yeah, food. But here's one. And look, it's the common Pleco. His colors are so washed. And honestly, his colors were pretty washed already in the, uh, the aquarium I picked him up in. But then we've got the angelfish. And again, colors a little wash. It's gonna be a little bit stressed out because it's in the uh, it's in a new environment, so it's gonna be down at the bottom, just like the other two were. But the yellow is so much more vibrant. And really, I mean, the koi doesn't even really have yellow. It's kind of that orange, um, and it comes through a lot more orange on the camera than it does in person. It's a little bit, a little bit less of a hard orange um, in, in person. But this, I mean, you can even see it on its top fin that yellow just extends wildly. But this guy is kind of just really chilling. Um, kind of expected a little bit more out of him, I guess. But I'm gonna let these uh, go ahead and chill out. Instead of doing a morning uh, update, and also look at that. One of them has a baby leaf. Growing some ferns, boy, we're about to hit stonks. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and A, put the lid back on this before they get too adventurous. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an update closer to when the lights turn off. Oh, little guy's moving. Little guy's moving. Big guy's moving. Okay, does he find a hide? No, he just sucks to the side. Now he came from an aquarium that did not have any hides. They're like, what is this? Yo, what is this? Cause I don't know if they were housed with any other fish. Um, but I'm gonna monitor aggression, I'm gonna monitor behavior because we do have a quarantine tank. Also, I can put the angel in potentially with Max if necessary because Max is very peaceful. He just can't be with other fish because they're gonna beat him up. But I think everything's gonna work out fine. Again, going to let everything situate. Man, they are really dogging this Pleco right now. They're like, what is this thing? But they're not attacking. They're not being ferocious. I don't think these angels are breeding or you know, maybe they might be same sex and not even capable of breeding in the aquarium. So who knows? But at least little guy is doing well. Looks a lot smaller in this aquarium than it did in the other aquarium, I can tell you that much. But I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna let everything happen. I'm gonna let things situate. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in in a little bit. You know, I said I was gonna check back later, but the other two swam over and found the, the new one and they've been swimming around for two or three minutes. I put the lid back on and I kind of just sat there and watched them, but they're just swimming around together. But you can see the difference in size, but also it's gotta be a veil tail angel. I don't know what kind, and we're seeing a little bit of, not necessarily what I would call aggression, but more of dominance. And I also think that koi either got some of its scales hurt or it is a pearl scale koi. Oh, a little bit of nips, a little bit of nips, but the marble is fine. It's just the koi. Oh, how is this gonna go? But this is all part of it. This is all part of fish keeping, is watching the behavior and seeing what happens. Because for all I know, the koi is a male and it's just trying to do dominance and the other two could be female. I, I don't exactly know how to sex um, angelfish right off the top of my head. It's something I have to look into. Oh, Marvel gave a little bit of a peck, but the gold was in its way. But the gold doesn't necessarily look stressed. Okay, little bit of aggression. But they're cichlids, you gotta remember that at the end of the day. A little more. Some nips here and there. But now they don't care again. Yeah, pick on the hornwort. Love that hornwort. Gosh, you just look so good in the aquarium. Little dude's doing great too. He's still in that same place. Okay, they left it alone. And it's swimming back over to him. Oh, little territorial. Now we're showing aggression from both of them, which is normal if they're a pair. Okay. I mean, granted, you do have a whole 55. Like, you can spread out a little bit. I can't believe this is a veil tail. And that yellow, you can now see the yellowing that I told you guys about. It's coming back a little bit. Wow, it actually just came back really well there. 
but that yellowing is just gorgeous. So we'll see how they do. But right now, I don't have a lot of worries. Again, little dude's just songed back there. But right now, again, there's not really anything abnormal. I just put an angelfish in with another pair of angelfish that may have never seen angelfish in their life before, other than themselves. There's going to be aggression. They're cichlids. I have two Oscars that live with each other since birth. Ricky and Bobby, some of the first fish that uh, was probably seen on this channel, and they still have bouts here and there with each other. But I mean, it's like dogs. You have to introduce dogs a certain way, and we're just gonna see. Worst case scenario, I take them out of here and I put them in a different aquarium. But we shall see. Hey, oh, so before we take a look at the angelfish, I just wanted to show you guys, look at how this dude's eating this zucchini right now. Man's is fully upside down, sucking on the bottom of this zucchini, just having a time of his life. So weird, so weird. Plecos are so weird. But if we look up here, little dude's off to himself right now and the pear is sticking as a pear. Um, I've kind of checked on them a few different times and there hasn't been too terribly a lot of aggression, just kind of these two sticking together and this one's kind of just doing what it does. So who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll be able to rehome another angelfish. Maybe not. Who knows? But uh, for now, they're doing okay. They've kind of set their territories. This one's been staying more at the top. These have been staying more down below. They see each other, yada, yada, yada. But, oh, okay, good to go. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I thought it was pretty cool being able to somehow it all worked out. We're back to back, like literally same day. Um, I get, so I get the message in the morning about, hey, need to rehome these two angelfish. So I go and get them. Went ahead and dipped out of work early. Um, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but I was able to, to go get them. And then the next morning, or not even next morning, when I get back, because I get out of work at six, seriously, I didn't dip out. I wish I could have, it would have made my life so much easier. But uh, worked till six, left, it's about an hour and a half drive, got them, came back, so it was, three hours round trip plus getting it and then getting home getting this rescape doing that whole stuff but ended up getting the uh the two angelfish they're loving their life in the 55 and uh yeah now we got the new one and the new common pleco as well so i think it worked out pretty well but i'm going to monitor them again we can also put the new angelfish in with max for the time being or get the new angelfish another angel to uh kind of pair off with and just go around but i'm gonna go ahead and monitor some things of course there's still gonna be territory and still fighting i hate these tilapia are so infuriating it's just that one it's that one tilapia um but things happen if you're a fish keeper you know things happen not saying things happen like yeah, i'm gonna let it die but they're animals if you've ever owned a dog if you've ever owned cats if you've ever owned any animal ever Every animal's different. Some animals are incredibly docile, others aren't. So we just gotta see how things work out. But there hasn't been a lot of bullying, there hasn't been a lot of uh, fighting. I just saw the common pleco go behind the sponge filter, so I actually need to feed um, the co top common pleco some green beans so it can eat tonight. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know I did, like I said. And uh, we've got a big video next video. Uh, maybe something pops up between it, but We've got a big video next video, but I'll talk to you guys soon. See you in the next one.